Hey there, Airstreamers. This is Peter at We Are Airstream right here in beautiful, sunny Arizona, Chandler, Arizona. We are in our air-conditioned, climate-controlled delivery area right here at our state-of-the-art facility. And today we are going to introduce our new 2023 range line. Let's go take a look. We at Airstream are extremely excited uh, for this range line to come out. Um, a couple differences between this and our interstate, our Atlas line. Uh, first and foremost, this is on a Ram ProMaster 3500 chassis, and this is a gas engine right here. This is a 3.6 liter uh, Pentastar uh, V6 gas engine uh, that is capable of being able to tow up uh, 3,500 pounds. There is a sway control that's already built into this thing, and obviously we got a seven pin connection in the back, which we will show you. But those are a couple of the, um, the major differences between uh, the new range line and our interstate and our Atlas line. This is a gas vehicle, which we are extremely excited to have on hand. Let's go walk all around over here. Obviously you can see um, with the front end here, you see the, the, uh, the Ram uh, emblem on there. Um, there are a couple different colors. This one comes in, this is silver. Uh, we also make one in a granite as well. Uh, full on solid uh, windows here, no plastic in any of these windows. Really cool kind of control right here is right inside here. You got an awesome little magnet that goes right on there. It won't scuff up uh, any of the paint job right here. This is your water and some protein, uh, some uh, um, <clears throat> water flush right here in area for you'd be able to put in uh, for an exterior shower. Uh, and then you have your flush right here, cool little light right here as well. Uh, you also have your black and your uh, gray tank here as well, uh, as well as an area to fill up um, uh, if you're planning on boo docking. Smart plug uh, comes on every one of our units and obviously the range line uh, here as well. There is a, um, a system on here that will fire up both the furnace and the hot water uh, that is using um, the gas of the of the engine. Uh, it's called a Timberline system. Extremely, extremely efficient, very quiet, uh, works really well. Uh, we're gonna get into the brass tacks of the inside here in a couple minutes, but big old doors right here open up. Right now, this is a zip away. So this kind of opens up right up and, and rolls up so that way you can see into the bedroom area. We'll show you that from the inside. Um, all sorts of extra little bells and whistles, bunch of cargo bays right here. They definitely have dogs in mind when they were um, doing this, a perfect place for a dog leash right here, or you put some cargo netting. Uh, also right here, uh, you have your plug right, or your uh, shut off right here as well, as well as portable water um, area right here. You have your hitch right here, and you have your seven and your four pin connection right here. There is generator on board. Um, also, Ryan, if you can get right in here on this, we'll show a little bit more of the flooring. This is the exact same flooring, the vinyl weave flooring that we have uh, in our Globetrotter and our classic model. So obviously two very high-end travel trailer units that we've adapted the floor right into um, this range line. And as we walk around here on the other side, every one of them is gonna get an awning um, as well. This is not a uh, power awning. This is a manual awning. So there are a couple legs that come down. Um, you're going to have a winder. It goes right into right there. I did this in about mm, a minute, minute and a half. Legs come right down. Super, super easy to use. And as I was saying before, uh, dogs in mind, you do have a little area here for a leash or a bottle opener, but it looks very, very similar to uh, some uh, dog paws right there. So uh, perfect, obviously, for uh, being able to take a pet friendly here as well. Let's go around and take a look at the inside. So right now we're in the cockpit of the 2023 Rangeline, extremely comfortable. Uh, all your gauges are right here. What I really like about this is the touchscreen. Very large touch, touch screen right here um, allows you to, you can nav, you got your media, you got all the stuff that you would normally have. Um, right now also on the rear view, this is a camera style. Um, if you have the back area unzipped and you can go all the way through, you could be able to use it, but this is a nice little uh, extra feature um, that you'll find around high-end uh, sedans and trucks that is more of a camera uh, versus actually having, um, being able to have to look through the mirror. But the touch screen here is amazing. And when you do have it in reverse, full-on camera, reverse camera right there, 
Um, everything kind of at your fingertips right here. Uh, USB ports all over the place. Just so you know, this is a nine speed transmission um, that is on this uh, Pentastar uh, 3.6 liter V6 engine. Um, and you have your ups and downs right here. So it's obviously not a, um, a, a sport performance vehicle, but it is definitely known for uh, tow towing and hauling. Uh, and you can certainly go through the gears uh, if you're coming downhill, be able to control it um, on the manual as well. So as we walk into the main cabin of the range line, again, I always reference how tall I am. I'm about six foot two, a lot of room um, in here, a lot of aluminum in here too. You have a fantastic fan in here as well. I have one of the, uh, the passenger seat uh, turned all the way around. Both of these can do it. And obviously it can kind of swivel around here as well. That works really, really well for the table which is relatively ingenious. It can come into a couple different settings. You can do it like so if you need a little bit of wraparound for some office space. And then if you are dining and you want a little bit more and you wanna be able to do this, then boom, you can just move this forward, move it over, this one all the way around, and you've got uh, table seating for four. Uh, kitchen right on over here as well, which we'll show in a second. I would really do like this angle for the, uh, uh, for the kitchen. <coughs> Allows for a little bit of extra counter space right here as well. Storage, 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 it's everywhere, just like you would um, expect to see in all the, the Airstreams. Deep storage all right here. And of course, we've got any place where we can have it, we will use it, okay? So you've got storage all here underneath as well. I'm bringing this out here, so that way you can see these are um, little Velcro areas right here. Uh, these are your window shades. We have them for the front, for the sides, all the way around here. So if you want it dark and you want to sleep in in the morning, uh, if you're boondocking somewhere, you can do it. You would have no idea that it's bright and sunny outside with these. So I'm just going to throw this on out. Big old handle right here, big old grab bar with a lot of uh, storage underneath here. I'm going to move this back over like so to kind of go into the kitchen area. Lots of uh, kitchen stuff going on here. Also, 1,000 watt induction cooktop which you can either leave in here plug right into here or plug it outside there's a plug outside as well this is an induction cooktop so no propane um, with this particular thing and you obviously need a uh, induction uh, uh, cookware uh, to make it work but a super super nice easy way of doing it. if you want to cook bacon or salmon outside that sort of thing you don't want to smell the inside of the coach up you can just plug it in right outside on a, a little camp table and away you go so Again, storage just everywhere. I can't, I always, I always get so excited about our storage options right here. Everywhere they have it, everywhere they can put it, they will. And obviously have your uh, trash can here as well. Nice uh, sink, beautiful big sink with a uh, real wood cutting board right here. Nice little fixture right in here. All these little cubbies here as well. Also, awesome feature comes standard on this. This is a removable uh, Bluetooth speaker. Uh, so you can have it on the inside, bring it on the outside if you're camping out there as well. Uh, the unit does not come with a TV, but it is pre-wired for uh, TV, so you can choose any size that you would want, and it can be installed right in the bedroom area, which we're going to show you next. So with this uh, particular unit, with the range line and all the range lines, you're going to have both a timberline system and a C-zone system. The timberline is for your uh, heating element, your hot water, your furnace, and then you have your C-zone, which is also on our top um, end units, both the interstate um, and the Atlas and say our pottery barn and our classic uh, line as well. So essentially it'll give you all of your tank updates right here, allow you to uh, turn on and off your all of your lights. You can turn on your porch light, bath light, uh, all these day um, mode, uh, night mode, be able to change your climate on the inside and out. So plenty of features in your home feature right here, which kind of gives you a little bit all in one. And there's another one over there in the back as well. All right, guys, so we're kind of in the kitchen, bathroom, bedroom area right here in the range line. So we're gonna start with the fridge right here. You also have your freezer compartment right here as well. I call it the Hagen dazs freezer, but you can certainly use it a lot more. You got your microwave also uh, right here. Um, and bathroom slash shower, the wet bath in here. I actually do love this wet back bath. It's got an awesome little um, obscure, uh, obscured at right at the moment, a sink that kind of folds down. And then when you're in here, I love this door. 
just shuts right down. Super, super easy. Way, 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 way easy to take a shower without having to worry about um, all of the uh, all the watering come on out and then closes in are real easy. Super, super nice, comfortable. Also, since I'm over here, easiest way to show you this little ingenious feature right here, dog bowls. Uh, as I said, we are definitely pet friendly. And then if you don't have pets or you're not planning on uh, traveling with the pets at that time, it can come right out here as well. And then it uh, can be used just as an extra storage drawer. And while we're down underneath here, look at all the storage underneath while we have the bed uh, in the down sleeping area. Uh, we also have some footage with the bed up so that way you can see it. But look at all the storage here underneath. And then obviously uh, you have all the uh, areas where you can ratchet down bikes or any sort of extra gear that you may have. One of the cool little things that I didn't notice until we did our full orientation on it is this one right here is an awesome it's a step, but also turns into a little bit of storage area. Why would we have a step right here? Well, because then it allows you to get into the bed very, very easily. So again, tall guy, I got no problems laying all the way down here, completely straight, very, very comfortable storage on both sides right here um, as well. Plenty of room for two people, no problems there. Little storage areas, even in the even in the fabric partition right here, obviously we have this uh, in the up area. Uh, phone charger right on the wall, right on the other side, as well as extra controls uh, right there to be able to turn all the lights off.